welcome back to the What's in Your Online Marketing Toolkit video series. This week we are going to talk about HTML in your SEO campaign. I'm Sarah and I'm from Informatics, an all things internet, full service web agency that offers a wide range of services, including web design, web development, hosting, custom web applications, SEO, social media, video production, photography, and so much more. Last time, we went back into search engine optimization and discussed links and your link building campaign. Specifically, we wanted you to remember that links are viewed as votes by search engines. There are a variety of ways to go about building your links, and you want to avoid those black hat tactics that are frowned upon. Sticking with search engine optimization, which as you remember is the process of increasing your web visibility in search engines, we are going to discuss a different element today. As you recall, there are a variety of elements involved in SEO, including keywords, content, social media, analytics, and today we are going to discuss HTML. Now HTML can be a little confusing and scary to a lot of people, and it is really complicated. We're not asking you to become web developers overnight. We just want to help you understand why HTML is so important for your search engine optimization campaign. So today, when discussing HTML, the key things that we want you to remember are that it is vital to your search engine optimization. You should work with experienced web developers who know what they are doing, and you might want to try understanding some of those common tags and just learning how they help your SEO. So to start out with, what is HTML? Well, the acronym HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is the language used for creating web pages. It is sort of, sort of like a behind the scenes hidden code and it contains tags. Now these tags help to create the structure and they communicate to browsers how they want the web page to be revealed, how they want the text and the graphics to show up. So as you can see on the image on the screen, on the picture on the left is if you go to a web page and right click and go to view page source, you can see the code behind the scenes. But when people actually go and view the page, the graphics and text, so the image on the right, is what will show up. And this is kind of, kind of an idea of how that code in HTML works. So why do you need to know about HTML? Well, like we mentioned, a lot of people get kind of freaked out by it and don't understand why they need to know about it. Well, it is vital to your SEO. All of the various tags help to get you found in search engines. You do want to leave the code up to your experienced web developers. They do know what they're doing, and it takes years of experience and practice to really understand the code in HTML. But we do want you to understand those tags you should be using and the tags you shouldn't. So HTML and your SEO. The first word we're going to discuss, the first tag, is meta keywords. Now the meta keywords tag used to be used a lot to let search engines know the keywords that your site was all about. However, people began abusing this tag, and so search engines don't use it so much anymore. As you can see in the image, it identifies the tag where the, you type in your keywords that you would think your site would be about. So in this case, it has to do with health food and diet burgers. However, this clues in your competitors as to what you consider your keywords to be. So since search engines don't really use them anymore, we would recommend avoiding the meta keywords tag. The next tag is meta descriptions. Meta descriptions are used to communicate to search engines what your site is about. And it's actually used in the search engine to show in the red box you can see that the meta description, meta description is used to let them know what the site is about. The next tag we're going to discuss is rel canonical. Now the rel canonical tag can be kind of confusing. For websites that have duplicate content, you'll want to make sure you use this. But in general, you also want to avoid duplicate content. However, there are certain situations such as sites who sell a lot of products and services where they may have very similar sites on the same domain, but they'll have slightly different URLs. In this case, you want to use the rel canonical tag on the page that you want to show up in search engines. So you would pick the page that is most complete and with the most accurate information. Next are the heading tags, H1, H2, H3, etc. And this is sort of like a hierarchy. H1 is the most important for your SEO and is the first one you will use. 
This helps communicate to the search engines and to the visitors what this specific page is all about and can be used to include your keywords and help get you found in search engines. You want to make sure you always have an H1 tag, but you want to make sure that you do not have more than one. As you can see in the image, the H1 tag here is about search engine optimization and SEO. So it lets the browser know, or lets the search engine know that that's what it's all about. The next tag is alt text. This is used when you have an image on your page and it doesn't load for everyone. So this will let people know what that image is depicting. Also, it lets search engines know what the image is depicting since they can't actually read the image itself. In the example here, we have a red box around the image on our website of the social media icons. And when you inspect the element, you can see that it explains that it is about social media, showing various icons, including Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. The next tag we're going to discuss is the anchor. The anchor tag is used to when you want to hyperlink to other sites. And instead of showing this confusing long URL, you can instead use keywords and have them be have them clickable so that you can link to that site. We discussed this when we talked about links last time. As you can see here, you can take a specific code. It might be a little complicated for you, but you can see just exactly what it is. And when you use that code, you can actually link to different sites. So in the example, the code above is used to link to on the social media to the social media site. So by clicking on the word social media, you will be taken to that specific landing page. So we went over a lot of different tags and HTML terms today. And as we said, we don't want you to be web developers overnight. You have your experienced web developers to help you out with developing your website. However, to help your SEO, you should really understand some of the high level things about HTML and the tags. So remember that HTML is vital to your SEO. You should work with experienced web developers who know what they're doing in regards to SEO. And you may want to try to understand the tags to help your campaign. We want you to hit the web running. We offer SEO services that help you succeed. Informatics focuses on outcomes, measures results, and offers coaching for success. You can contact us at informaticsinc.com and we can help you with your SEO services today. Also, we'd love for you to join the conversation online. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. We'd love to hear any feedback and questions you may have. Thanks for joining us today and make sure to join us next time and stay tuned for upcoming videos. See you soon.